about 8.45 a.m. this morning, uh, uh, 911 calls came in that there were shots fired in the area of uh, Muhammad Ali and Jalif Abbey. Uh, police personnel responded. They found two juveniles uh, that were uh, shot and non-fatal, uh, superficial wounds. Uh, they began their unseen investigation, which you see behind me now. Uh, right now, they're following some uh, active leads uh, into the shooting. Uh, this comes upon uh, uh, less than 24 hours. Uh, we apprehended uh, four individuals last night for a shooting up on 15th Avenue and South 18th Street uh, and recovered three weapons. It's a problem uh, that, that, that's really uh, becoming a, a major, major problem. It's pathetic, the amount of guns that are making it into our inner cities and into the city. Uh, I think our system's failing us. Uh, uh, yesterday, our officers put their lives on the, on the line. Too many innocent people are, are getting injured. Uh, something definitely has to be done uh, with the amount of guns that are coming into the inner cities, especially in North New Jersey. The public safety director said it's absolutely correct. Too many guns out here in the street. We're talking about young kids. Uh, some of them barely adults uh, that have access to these weapons that are uh, trying to solve their problems or, or arguments with each other uh, in, the, in the street with violence and guns. Uh, unfortunately, you know, they are shooting one another. The, the, the only good thing that came out of what happened today is, you know, the, the two kids were not uh, killed, that they were not fatal, uh, and that they were lucky by the grace of God to escape this one. The police department is uh, working hard and over time to be able to round up all these individuals who we believe are causing havoc in the street. We do have some idea about who we think these people are, uh, and we're not going to rest until we begin to, to, to bring them all in, uh, get these guns off the street, and bring them to justice. I've been a Norker for, for all my life, and an officer over 30 years. This is the most guns that I've ever seen uh, coming into the city. Uh, automatic weaponry, uh, weapon, some weaponry that you see the military utilize. Uh, and it's, it, it's some, at some point that, you know, federal government, uh, state government, local government, we have to sit down and we have to actually have a, that, a strategy in place that uh, we, we, have to, we have to stop it somehow.